All right. Hi, welcome back. This is the second tutorial I'll be putting up here for how to use the Jectari Battle Calculator tool. Uh, this one we're going to focus a little bit more on how to use uh, the HOMMK user script interfaced with Might and Magic Heroes Kingdoms uh, in order to make the Jectari tool easier to use. Uh, and with that, we'll jump right into it. Um, as you can see here, I'm at Might and Magic Heroes Kingdoms. The object of this tutorial is to get this window right here to appear on your screen um, and uh, how to use it. Now, this tool will only work with your browser if you are using Chrome or Firefox, I believe. Um, I know for a fact you cannot use it, well, not for a fact, my understanding is that you can't use it with Internet Explorer, and I have yet to find a way to, nor do I wish to find a way, so regardless, um, I suggest, and this tutorial will only show how to do it for either Firefox or for Chrome. So first, we'll, uh, we'll start off with Firefox, because it has an additional step that you need to follow uh, before you can install the script. To begin, you're going to need Grease Monkey. It's an add-on. So from your Firefox window, go to Tools, go to Add-ons. Up in this window here, you click on Get Add-ons and search for Grease Monkey. All one word. Um, well, it would show up, except I already have it installed. These add-ons, you just click Add when it does show up, and away you go. It'll install it for you. It'll probably have you restart Firefox, but it really is just that simple. Um, once you have Grease Monkey installed, you can then go to userscripts.org, and you can search for the MMOHK uh, Improve UI script. Um, Currently, I can't do that because User Scripts is having some kind of an issue with the link. So instead, I'm just going to put in the uh, the actual URL. Um, I don't know if you can view this, so I will include it in the notes along with this YouTube video. All right, here's the page for the HOMMK Improve UI script or tool or whatever. Really, all you have to do is click install. Um, Grease Monkey should detect it and install it. Okay. You'll get this window here and you click install. Now, once you've done that, that's all you need to do from Firefox perspective. Okay. Now, from Chrome, <coughs> Chrome is the same way uh, except you don't need to install Grease Monkey, it's native. You just click install and it'll pop up the window down here and you click continue. Okay, And that will install this script into your Chrome browser. You can find the script here under tools and extensions. And where is it? There it is, right there. Okay. And if you want, you can allow it in incognito, which I have. Um, Firefox, to view it here, once Grease Monkey is installed, you will have the option here under Tools. You can manage the script, and here you will see all the other scripts I've installed. Won't go into those. There. That's it right there. You can disable it, you can uninstall it if you don't like it, but I'm sure you will like it, so there it is. Anyway, that being said, I prefer to use Chrome, so we'll get rid of Firefox. Once you log in, you will then have this window. It's going to look like this. Okay? Not this part, obviously, just this. Um, you can expand it, minimize it, 
And you'll notice, yeah, this is in French, but uh, don't let this intimidate you. Uh, they're still pretty obvious. You've got Jectari. Uh, this is a scribe function. It allows you to um, open up a, a message and uh, then it'll highlight. See, now it's opened up and it'll shove all that info into a text base that you can copy and paste and stick somewhere in a notepad or something like that. That way you don't uh, lose this information. It's useful for keeping that stuff uh, beyond the extension of how many days you are permitted to keep messages. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, but basically what this tool does is it monitors all of the troop movements around you. Okay, people moving about stuff, you know, moving units, uh, sending in attacks, etc., etc. Here it is, the time, the uh, uh, person that was doing it, and the location. Okay. And I believe, um, I assume that this was supposed to hop you there, but let's see if we can't make that happen. I haven't really played with this much yet. Yeah, there we go. There. You can see the troop movement. Right there. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm assuming this means cartographer, but what this is is a map. This is a map of the entire server, whatever, the full map. Um, it will retain some information as long as you stay logged in when you leave, as far as I understand. Uh, and from what I've seen, it, it wipes out entirely. But uh, it allows you to get a, a broader view and you can click on the map here and it will change the view to that location for you. So let's see here. We can move around my alliance, get all the nice purple area showing up on the map, get a better idea of what all is around me here. Okay. <coughs> Now, that's all fine and dandy, um, but the real benefit to using this tool is uh, for combat. So, let's see here. Um, try a different account. Uh, okay. Here. I'm not going to actually fight, so we'll use this guy. Here I have a hero. Here I have my units. If you'd seen the previous uh, tutorial, you've seen us manually punching all this information into Jektari. But uh, instead... Oh, kid me. Let's see here. I need to find something I can fight that I actually have information on. Uh, we'll go over to my area here. Uh, I believe I took a scouting report on this guy. Yes. Okay. Here we go. This will work. <laughs> um. As I showed in the previous tutorial, we punched all this information manually into Jiktari and did our best to come up with the most optimal uh, battle outcome. Now, this does not necessarily work the greatest when it comes to actual PvP one-on-one -on -one, uh, fighting, because there's other factors to take into account, such that your scouting report will probably be out of date by the time the fight actually begins, but for PvE purposes and fighting inactive uh, players, this is this definitely works. So we're just going to assume 
for argument's sake and for the tutorial's sake that this is a PvE battle. All right. Anyway, here's the fight as it's mapped out here. First thing you do using this tool is you click Jektari. Okay. Now, no, this does not pop open a window or anything of that nature. It creates a link here. Okay, this Jektari permalink. All right. When you click that, it takes you to the site with everything populated the best that it could from the information that you had there. Um, in PvE battles, it will equate to populating with just about everything except for what spells you have available to your uh, fighter from what I've seen, or your hero. Um, and then from that point, you don't have to worry about populating your fighter or the defender for PvP based attacks. Uh, NPC, you don't have to worry about a defender. And then you can go about organizing and um, optimizing your uh, your combat as best you can. Let's give you a quick lowdown. There we go. Sure. Whatever. Cool. Uh, 17 squires wipe them all out. And you're done. Now you know. 17 squires. Come back here. Ditch it. Ditch it. 17. And there you go. Go ahead and fight. No, I'm not gonna. But, uh, that's really how easy it is. Um, every time you want to do another fight, you go ahead and find another unit to, or another uh, group to battle. I believe I have these guys. Yep. And uh, go ahead and repeat the process, but every time that you want to open another um, Jektar instance of Jektari, you have to again click Jektari first and then permalink, and voila. It's properly updated with your current fight. Uh, I think that's pretty much the gist of it. It's not too difficult. shouldn't be too hard. Uh, anyways, thanks again for checking it out, and uh, 